welcome back to my channel in this video we will cover sign in with google and in the previous videos we covered sign in with email and password we also covered how we can keep our user logged in even after the app is being restarted before starting the main content uh, i want you to like share and subscribe my channel if you like my videos and please make sure you press the bell icon as well now coming back to the main content here we have the firebase dashboard here we have the odd providers uh, where email and password is enabled. We will also enable the Google and here we can tap on the enable button and we can also set up some configurations here in the product setting. If we navigate to it, uh, we need to set SHA one fingerprint here for the sign of functionality with Google. So here I will add this add fingerprint, but where does this fingerprint comes from? So what you have to do, you have to open your terminal or CMD in your windows. Here there is a command that you need to put here and you will press enter. Uh, I am using the command for Mac for windows. It is a bit different. I will share both the commands in the description. You can refer to that. Here we have this SHA one fingerprint. I will copy it and I will paste it here. The system automatically detects it is SHA one and we will save it. So uh, we have set up the configurations from the project settings. Now coming back here, here you will need to provide a support email for your project and I will press save. It completes our uh, Firebase configuration for uh, Google sign in. After that, you can see Google is enabled here in the auth providers. Now we can implement the sign in functionality with Google and we can register our users here on the Firebase. So now come back to the main project. I will close it here. Uh, previously, we have created this auth service we, where we have the functionality for uh, you create user with email and password and we have the login uh, and also the sign out functionality here. Here we have the login screen that we have previously created. You can refer to my previous videos. And here uh, on tab, we are using this login handler that login our user. Also for similar for sign up and uh, in this video, we have to make a Google sign in as well. So on the login screen, what I will create, I will create a button for Google sign in here, uh, down below the login button. Uh, I will uh, put some spacing here. And after that, I will create another custom button uh, with the label of sign in with Google. So we will tap on this button in order to sign in with Google here. I will have to put some functionality here on pressed and whenever this button is pressed so we will initiate the process of sign in with google so we have created the ui for it now uh, we need a package which is google sign in uh, if you go to my pubspec.yml i have already added the package here which is google sign in you can get this package from the pubspec.yml uh, sorry from the pub dev and you can uh, install this dependency for uh, this Google sign in functionality. Now coming back to this auth service here, we will create a function for a login with Google, uh, just like we have created these other in a previous video. So I will create a function that will return a future and uh, the future value will be user credential nullable and it will be login with Google. And uh, it will be an asynchronous function as the activity is asynchronous. Let's put a try catch block here in order to catch any error that may occur during the flow. And uh, if something goes wrong, I will just print the error for now. We can also do some advanced handling, but for this video, we don't need to do that. Now coming to the main functionality, uh, I will use the Google sign in plugin. I will create an instance of Google sign in and will call the method sign in. Uh, it is asynchronous operation so i'll put a wait here and also it returns some data i will take the data and that is google uh, sorry google user i will store it in this variable what this sign in does it creates the interface where we can enter the email and password and sign in with google and after the process completed it returns us some data about the user that has been signed in currently so from this google user we need the authentication i will create another variable that will be google auth and what we will do we will take uh, some data from this google user that is authentication 
this basically returns us uh, some data authentication data about the user that has been currently signed in so that we register it on firebase as well so now i will uh, create credentials for firebase so that the user that has currently signed it has to be registered on firebase so what i will do i will use the google auth provider dot credential sorry dot credential and here what i need to pass is the id token that we will get from this google auth so i will use the google auth dot id token and then we need the access token as well we will take it from this google auth as well we have taken this uh this is a nullable uh, authentication uh, it can be null so we can put a question mark here to handle that case as well if it is null which is not generally but uh, it can be null so we have created the credential and now uh, what we can do we will return the method which is uh, first of all it is a synchronous i will put a wait and we will uh, use the file uh, sorry the auth instance we have created here which is a firebase auth dot instance and uh, i will call the sign in with credential and here i will pass this credential that we have created from the google sign in and it returns the user credential so that's why i have put a user credential uh, future here so when the sign in is complete so we will be returned this user credentials by firebase and the whole process is pretty simple uh, you get the user details from google and you get the authentication after that af when authentication data is provided credentials are created for firebase and you call the sign in with credentials from firebase passing the credentials for google account so with this process you sign in with google and also register using or firebase and here uh, if we save it uh, here we have a return null in the case if something went wrong so something needs to be returned as it is future user credential nullable so we can also return null it will be returned in case something went wrong and nothing in the user credential is returned so we have completed our logic now let's go back to the login screen here uh, on press uh, i can call that a function which is from this uh, uh, auth service so i will use this auth to uh, sign in with google sorry it is login with google so whenever i call this there will be a pop-up that will appear and we can enter our details therefore sign in with google okay so now the functionality has been completed uh, okay let me restart the app and check if it is working so let's tap on this button and now our ui appears it's checking some data on our device to check if some uh, previous user is stored or not so now here i will enter my email and after entering the email i will tap on this next button and now i will be prompted to enter my password so i will put my password here don't look at my password <laughs> and now tap on the next button let's see what happens an email has been received on my phone and it is asking me that if i am the one who have who has signed in on this emulator so yes it's me i will tap on the button and now uh, it asks me uh, for this number that is being shown on the emulator which is 4 so i will enter 4 on my phone and now uh, we will proceed ahead i will agree to the terms and services of google and our user has been signed in successfully now it is asking for uh, some uh, basic device backup data so i don't want to make the backup of data so i will accept it and now our user has been signed in with google so now you will be navigated to the home screen according to the functionality that we have set previously so let's see yes we have been navigated to the home screen which means our user has been signed in with google and now if i restart my app so it will still come back to the home screen because we have set the functionality of keeping our user logged in even after the app is being restarted so this is uh, how we sign in with google so if i uh, tap on sign out so our user will be signed out that's how it works now to make it good user experience what i will do here uh, we have uh, this button on the login screen for the sign in with google what i will do i will 
create a boolean here which will be is loading i will set it to false by default and it will be of type bool what i will do that uh, whenever uh, here uh, the button is tapped for sign in with google i will call set state to uh, update the state of loading sorry is loading to true so that we can show a loader here and whenever this uh, sign in is completed so this loader is removed so i will set it false whenever this uh, login with google is completed and here what i will do if is loading is true i i want my app to show a circular progress indicator and if it is false then we need to show this sign in with google button so now if i sign in with google tap on this button so you can see a loader is here in order to improve our user interface and since we have already uh, registered our user and so we directly navigate to the home screen and our user has been logged in here on the firebase I, if i refresh my users so you will see here i have added this uh, user with google that's how we implement sign in with google functionality thanks for watching this video see you in the next video goodbye